professional and she is excellent at her job. So what does she do? Well, Sarah claims she is a professional mistress. Yeah, Sarah is proud of the fact that she only dates very rich, very generous, married men. So let's take a look at the day in the life of Sarah, the professional mistress. Hi, I'm Sarah Oliver and welcome to my world. So in the past four years, these are all the trips that have been taken care of from different guys to go on. And I buy one magnet per city so I remember where I go. So here are some of my cars. I have the BMW, which I got for Valentine's Day. I also got this Porsche for my birthday. And my all-time favorite is Escalade. It's like my everyday car. I love jewelry. I have this band, which is a carrot and a half. I have a Dior watch now that my new man bought me. Also, this ring, which is a $40,000 engagement ring. Whoa, not a bad haul for someone who just provides companionship. So, Sarah, Sarah, tell us, what exactly is a professional mistress? I mean, it's not only married men. It's really just rich, wealthy men yeah. that like to have a good time with a woman and it's not always sex involved they just oh. want a pretty girl on their arm do you do this for money well of course <laughs> so doesn't that make you a prostitute though no because i don't have sex with them. no no okay. i would what, say out of the past men that i've talked to i've maybe had a sexual relationship with three of them so do they know that or, or are they thinking when they get into a relationship with you that they're going to have sex or is it not, just for the company? I mean, not always because I've actually told a couple of them up front, like, I'm abstinent. Unless, like, I'm going to be with you, I'm not going to have sex with you. Do you feel bad for the wives of these gen gentlemen? If these men are married, do you feel bad for I them? I mean, I do feel bad for their wives, but it's the husband's fault because they're going to find women regardless of who it is. So... If, if you are your business, as it were, mm -hmm. do you have to do a lot of work to maintain the goods, if I can put it like that? I've had my boobs done twice. You had your boobs done? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do? This is a serious question. What are you going to do when you no longer have the looks to be the arm candy? When I'm 45, I'm getting a facelift. Like, I'm not going to look 45. like... 45? I mean, how do you get a... I don't know. Well, I haven't had a facelift. I don't know how... 